In this video, we'll be looking at a pretty incredible trade that occurred on the 13th of May, 2022. This trade ended up being a huge trade for us. In fact, we made approximately $2,300 per $15,000 traded, which equates to about 15.3%. This trade was recorded in real time as it happened and provides a very good example of how the algorithms will place trades and what is possible on any given day. As I'm talking, you'll see the candles moving on the charts. That's because the desktop was being recorded so that I could share with you how the different algorithms work and what the advantages of using an automated trading system are. To familiarize you with the setup, the top chart shows the S&P E-mini using 9-minute candlestick charts. The day trade long is loaded on that chart so when a trade occurs, you'll see it automatically populate along with the stop market order. The bottom chart shows the S&P using daily candles. This is shown to give you perspective on what the market had been doing, namely selling off since the end of 2021. Just keep in mind the risk disclaimer that past performance is not indicative of future performance. Also, trading futures and options involves substantial risk of loss and it's not appropriate for all investors. The leftmost section shows the bid ask for the S&P E-minis. When we get into a trade, it will show the profit loss on that trade along with any open orders. If you've watched any of the videos on the website, then you know that the Geronimo algorithm consists of a day trade long, day trade short, and a bullish put spread algorithm, and that these algorithms combined represent the Geronimo trading system. Just keep in mind, I'm not a commodity trading advisor. The Geronimo trading system is offered under what's called a letter of direction. Trades are automatically placed by an NFA registered broker who's monitoring the algorithm's trade signals. Account setup is quite easy and can be done in one to two days. Just in case you're wondering, the minimum account size is $15,000 when you open and fund the account. This provides sufficient buffer in your account such that you should be able to withstand multiple losing trades and not have to add funds to your account. As I mentioned earlier, we had a pretty incredible trade on Friday, May 13th, 2022. And I'll now show you the tick by tick trade as it occurred in real time. For the sake of the video, I've sped up certain parts of the video so that you can see it trade through completion. As this video shows, the market opened quite a bit higher on May 13th with a big gap up. For many day traders, seeing the market gap up by a full percent can make it incredibly difficult to buy. It always feels like you missed the move and if you were to buy now, you would simply be buying at the high of the day. Therefore, many day traders would actually go short into this strength, hoping to see the gap fill and then they would possibly exit with a nice gain. As a quantitative trader, we allow the algorithm to dictate when a good time to short is or when a good time to go long is. We do not let our emotions get in the way of our trading because it's the algorithm running the trades. In this case, after the market had been open for about 18 minutes, the gap held and the algorithm generated a buy signal. Keep in mind, this video does make it look a bit easy. However, when a trader is responsible for their own trades, they're constantly second guessing themselves. Once the trade was entered, it immediately threw out a stop of $400. To put this into perspective, it simply means that for every $15,000 in the account, my customers would be trading one contract and they would have been risking about $400 on this trade, which is about 2.66%. In this example, you can see that the stop was placed at $39.69. As the video shows, once we got into the trade, the market did sell off a bit and actually looked like it might hit our stop. In fact, at this point, we came within three points of our stop. The unrealized loss was at about $250 and we were only $150 away from hitting our stop. The algorithm clearly identified a good spot to place the stop and though the market came close, it never touched our stop. I'll now compare that to an individual who might be day trading. Had they done the right thing and bought the market when we did, their next test would have been where to place the stop. Had they put it too tight, such as $250 away, they would have been stopped out only to watch the market rally. In our case, and since we are algo traders, we just let it do its thing. Now suppose it's the individual trader again, and he does pick a good stop, $400 as we did. He might be thinking, it's going to go lower and fill the gap, so I might as well get out now and save the extra $150. If he did that, it would have been the wrong decision. The market did start to bounce again and after roughly two to three minutes, and as these charts show, the trade went from being down about $250 to being up about $600 as the first nine minute candle was completing. In case you aren't aware, the way futures work is every point move on the S&P is $50. Therefore, being up $600 means the S&P was up about 11 points. In other words, we went from $39.77 to about $39.89. 
At this point, the gains increased further and were at about $1,800, double from the previous point we looked at. As the market continued to trade, there came at least one point where it started to look like we might give back all of the gains. The unrealized $1,800 gain dropped to a gain of about $900. Here's where a day trader who's actively trading might get spooked out of the trade and could exit early. They might think, well, I'm up $900, which is about 6.5%, and probably couldn't imagine the market going much higher than that. It's not bad for one day's work, and they might exit the trade and call it good for the day. The advantage of an algorithm driving the trades is that we let the algorithm run, and in this case, we got it right. As this shows, the market stabilized again, and the rally continued yet again. Our $900 gain grew to just over $2,300. At this point, someone with a $15,000 account would now see their account net liquidating value be about $17,300, all from this one trade. If someone had a $30,000 account, then they would be up about $4,600, and if they had a $60,000 account trading four units, then their gains would have been approximately $9,200. At this point, we finally exited the trade, locking in our gains. Hopefully this video has been helpful. It should demonstrate to you the power of algorithmic trading. In this trade, the algorithm got it right. It handled the entry well, the stop was placed in a great position, not too big and not too small, otherwise we would have been stopped out. It also exited at a great point. It's not shown on the video, but the market did close lower from this point. Although past performance is not indicative of future performance, this video shows the earning potential of the algorithm. In just one trade, we generated gains of approximately 15.3%. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to us. Shoot us an email at sales at algorithmictrading.net or simply fill out one of the forms on our website. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.